Right now, Iowa, I believe we've slipped to number four from number two uh, for student debt ratio, basically. That, that just essentially says that Iowa students are coming away with a, an inordinate amount of debt. Uh, and really, we don't have the highest tuition in the state. So really, what's going on here? We have some poor decision making on the student's part, uh, be it lending, be it simple financial literacy tools. Uh, but also income has not increased like it should have, uh, not only in the state but across the country. So if your income stays a level and tuition goes up and state aid and, and, and grants go down, uh, the only option sometimes are loans. And if you're not a, a, a knowledgeable borrower, that's a slippery slope to where you can really make yourself uh, dig yourself into a deep hole. And we're really good in Iowa about getting kids out of high school. Um, high school graduation rates are okay, getting them to college, but not keeping them in college is sometimes an issue here. So um, it's nice with the eighth grade plan legislation that, that passed a few years ago. Now students are required to begin exploring in eighth grade and looking at careers and determining what kinds of things they might be interested in and then doing that research we spoke about before so that they know what kind of education is required. This gives them a better feel for the kind of high school classes that they need to take that will support that career option that they're hoping to get to someday. So then they're coming out of high school a little bit better prepared with the classes already under their belt so they're ready for the program or major that they've chosen or ready for the for the career that they're they're looking to get into right out of high school. When you're changing majors you're adding at least a semester if not a full year uh, of college because sometimes uh, credits don't transfer between majors. Obviously uh, uh, you have to start over if you have a different major so adding time adds costs and and really uh, the problem with tracking completion rates is that uh, students go to a different school they find they, they don't have a plan going into college and they go to a specific school because it's cool or it's something it's a sports team that they like but what they didn't realize is that the school down the down the road is actually a better fit two years later and so now they essentially have to start back over taking the right courses that fit them and adding more and more cost along the way. And that, that was where that exploration part really comes into play too. It gives them a chance to kind of try on things, if, especially if the school is able to do anything or even if parents are able to encourage job shadow opportunities or, or other ways that students can get more hands-on experience with, with the career that they're actually looking at. And so with the eighth grade planning process, that kind of gives them an opportunity to explore a little bit deeper, maybe interview people in, in the career that they're looking for so that they're not just reading about it, but they're actually getting that hands-on experience with it.